To another episode of Cloud Play TV. I'm your host Linda Peterson and I'm back to share another little clay character to add to your collection. Today's feature is the sea turtle and I can't wait to show you how. To create the base that the little turtle will uh, set on, I have just taken some of the terracotta color and I've mixed it together with white and kind of marbleized it a little bit. Um, you can add as much as you want and uh, any degree of marbling that you like will work. So just massage that together. You can even twist it a little bit and we'll break off a piece. This stuff really stretches. And so now what I'm going to do is I'll just roll it into my hands and uh, just press it down onto my work surface and shape it kind of like a rock. And this will become the base that our little turtle will find its home. To begin with, we're going to make six balls. Two are smaller, two are medium, and two are larger. The smaller balls are about a quarter of an inch or about the size of a pea. These are a little bit larger, about the size of a larger pea, and the large ones are about the size of a marble. The two smaller balls are going to become back legs. And to shape them, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to press this in uh, together with my fingers. I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see the shape a little better. And then I'm going to press this into an oval and give the end just a little bit of a point. Something like this. Okay. And to create the little uh, marks in the flipper, then I'm just going to come in with a little pair of scissors and I'll give that a little bit of definition. Now I'll do this again for the back legs and I'll do it with the larger balls for the front legs. Now that I have all four of my legs made, I'm going to make the body out of this larger ball, ball that's about the size of a marble. So I'm just going to press it flat between my fingers and I'm going to give it somewhat of a teardrop shape. Something like this. And then what I'm going to do is I have a little pan of water sitting off to the side that you can't see, but I'm going to dip my finger in the water and where I want to attach the legs, I'm just going to add a little drop of water. This helps uh, make a seal between um, the two pieces of clay. And you can tap with the, the bottom there. kind of acts like a little bit of a glue. just like this. I've brought my rock back in because now what we're going to do is we're going to take the body that we just created and we're going to begin to build this little turtle on top of the rock. So we'll lay him down. Just like he's sunning himself on the side of the pond there. And we'll go on to create the head. For the head, I'm using the remainder uh, ball that's left, the one that was about the size of a marble, and I've rolled it into a ball, and I'm just going to pinch that with my fingers and just roll it back and forth. What I'm doing is I'm kind of creating a little bit of a, or a log with a ball on the end, and this is going to become the turtle's head. And so I can pinch it, forming just a little bit of a point on the head and a nice long neck. I have a couple of wiggle eyes and I'm just going to dab a little bit of water onto the side of his face and press the eye into each side there. And the water is just helping the clay to be a little stickier than normal. And so there's the head of 
my little turtle. Now we're going to place the head onto the body. So this is just a matter of wetting the two areas that are going to be joined with a little bit of water and pressing the neckline over the top of the body just like that. You might have to give his head a little bit of a prop. Sometimes uh, because the clay is so soft, the head will sink a little bit. And you can do that just by adding another little ball at the bottom with some of your rock colored clay. Just give him a little rock to uh, lay his head on there. And now let's make his shell. I particularly love mixing colors, so I thought it'd be fun to guide and give him a little bit of a uh, marble look for his shell. So I have some blue. I have some green and I'm just going to marble that together. Uh, when you marble you don't want to completely mix the color. Give it a couple of twists. All right. And then shape this into a ball that looks something like this. Now we're actually going to flatten this down on our work surface and create what I call kind of a triangle or, or a pyramid shape. I'll show you that shape here in just as soon as I get it ready. So you can see the shape here. It uh, is flat on the bottom, has a little bit of a point, a nice soft point at the top. And then the top of it is fairly round. And we're going to press this right over the top of our little turtle. Now I'm just uh, stretching it out just a little bit. The clay is very responsive and it will stretch and stretch and stretch. So let's add a little bit of water to the bottom and let's put on his little house. Just like that. Let me show you what he's looking like so far. So there's the side view of the little turtle. Front view and the other side. Now we can go back and add just a few more uh, bits of embellishment to give him a little bit of character. Using just a toothpick, I'm just going to draw some lines to kind of create the look of his little shell. And let's I think he is just about done. It can be a lot of fun watching kids add their own personality to these little clay characters. If you need more project ideas and inspiration, visit us on our website at cloudclay.com. And while you're there, be sure to email us. We would love to hear from you. That's going to do it for this episode of Cloud Clay TV. Make sure you join me back next time because I've got another great little character to share with you. Mm -hmm.